Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I already did a reading for you guys, but it was a live and I want you guys to get one of these kind of readings because I know some of you resonate when you just look at the cards. So this is kind of like a Pisces uh, bonus reading. Let's see the overall energy for Pisces. This is the week of June 19th through the 26th, which happens to fall, the uh, Capricorn full moon is falling during this week. I believe it's on June 24th. So that's going to be some intense energy. So let's see what's going on with Pisces during this week of the full moon, okay? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, or cross watchers, Pisces. What is the energy that is going on with you guys? We've got three of wands, okay? There's some waiting here. Ooh, well, maybe it's the happy ending you've been waiting for is coming your way. Maybe you're gonna have a big epiphany, a big shift, a big change during this uh, full moon, okay? Happiness, fulfillment, love, joy, all of it. All right, we've got Knight of Cups. So it could be that somebody is coming forward here with a romantic gesture, someone who you've been waiting on. This is Pisces energy. It could be a Cancer Scorpio, but this person has feelings for you. This person might be coming forward and finally expressing their feelings. You could have been waiting for this person for a long time. All right, Pisces. So this is Pisces, but like I said, it could be Scorpio or Cancer, or it just could be someone who has feelings for you that's been holding back, that's ready to finally come forward and show you their emotions here. We've got Page of Cups, which is also a message. Um, they might be like messaging you out of the blue here. This could be apology. This could be an expression of their feelings, but this is a tangible message of somebody's love that's coming forward that is going to lead to happiness. So wow, Pisces, this is really positive. This could also be an apology about something from the past here. Okay, then we've got the devil reverse. So it could be that this person's letting go of their fears when it comes to this connection. Maybe they were scared to message you. Maybe they were scared to come forward. Maybe they were scared to apologize. This is Capricorn energy, but I feel like they're letting go of their fears. They're letting go of their doubts. They're ready to just kind of come forward and express their feelings. And we do have the fool here, but I feel, you know, I don't always take reversals. I did with the devil, but I feel this is um this person is ready to take that next step they're ready to take a leap if you guys can just hold on for one second so this is aries energy this fool and i feel like this person is ready to look like a fool they're ready to take a leap they're ready to have a new beginning they're ready to finally express to you guys what they feel and they're not letting fear stop them anymore. You could be dealing with an Aries, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. All right, so let's get some energies of your connection. I feel in the past there could have been ego battles and that's why I feel like um, the devil is reversed here. This person, let's get, let's get some more energies. They're, they might have been afraid to confront you because of that, okay? You guys maybe have been working on those or maybe they've had some ego deaths where they're ready to put that aside. They definitely want to kiss and make up with you, okay? They feel a spiritual connection with you and they may see that you're like having more fun or maybe they feel like you're doing your thing. Maybe they even feel like jealous, like they're losing you to, the, to your friends. There's something that's happening. I also feel if you can raise your vibration with your girls, with your people, with your guys, whoever, this doesn't necessarily have to be girls, it's just the card. Look, we have spiritual lesson and spiritual connection. So it could be that they learn the lesson. I feel like this ego battle was a spiritual lesson within this connection. Okay, let's see what this person wants to communicate to you, Pisces. This is from Mystic Moon's Twin Flame Journey Messages, Volume 1. What do they want to say to Pisces? I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you, okay? That is their second time apology is coming through here. They feel like they didn't do it right. We will be together again. I just wasn't ready for you. I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. Wow, okay, so I feel like they may be at a different point now, but I mean, this is like positive, positive energy compared to other readings I'm getting. Starting off with that Ten of Cups, the Knight of Cups, okay? 
The Knight of Cups could also kind of be like a Casanova, so maybe they kind of played you. I think it was just the wrong timing. I do want to get some more cards from them and see like what they want to express to you here. Okay. But um, I definitely feel like they're having regrets. They're having second thoughts about their behaviors with you. Okay, this is from Twin Flame Messenger Oracle, Volume 2 from Soul Reflections. It's time to be more active. Stop passive behavior. Call back parts of the soul to be whole again. They could have been more passive in the past. That's what I'm saying. The fool is like taking action. Maybe in the past they were just kind of like, eh, whatever. But now I feel like they're ready to take that leap of faith. My higher self is always by your side. There's definitely a spiritual connection, guys. Here, we got spiritual twice. Trust in the universe. Believe in the divine plan. Okay? So I feel like if you've always felt you have a spiritual connection with this person, it's there. They may be starting to realize it. It might be dawning on them during this full moon. Okay? There's shifts. There's changes. Let's get the overall energy from the Sigil Oracle. I just love this deck so much. I'm going to possibly read from the book because they're like long descriptions and they have mantras what's the overall energy for pisces here wow this is the emperor this is masculine energy as you can tell this is desire but this is also taking responsibility this is like being in that masculine energy of being strong, taking ownership here, okay? It's sometimes control battles, that's the ego battles, but there's a desire here, there's an attraction here, okay? Um, we're going to go into what it says in the book, but as you guys can see, it's pretty clear, this emperor energy, whoa, <laughs> we've got definite desire here. Okay, mm, let's see what the book says. The mantra here is the power of the God resides in my legacy. So this could also be they're thinking about children. They're thinking about, you know, like passing down their legacy, making, telling, rising, shucking, taking, breaking, building, filling, commanding, giving. A simple phallus resides among two testicles that embody the spectrum of creation existence. The male archetype, the God in his house of creation. This is the giver and the taker. The male principle in history and society is that of making his mark. I, I feel like the masculine that you're dealing with could very much be thinking about babies and who they want to um, have babies with. And that is like, that's you. So now they're like realizing I screwed that up because if I wanted to have a family, and that's what the Ten of Cups is all about. It's like the happy family. Usually there's children in that. And it's like when they think about a family and who they want to have it with, they think about you. Maybe you guys had kids together already. All right, let's get some final messages from this Earth and Sky Oracle here. Rat, in inventive and creative, uninhibited and free, elegant and good looking, greedy and gossiping. It could have been that someone ratted someone out and that caused a whole drama in your connection. This could also be someone's Chinese astrology that you're dealing with. Then we've got Uranus, planet of liberation, spiritual awakenings. That's the third time we saw spiritual. Rebellion and originality thrives on change. Uranus is also very sudden. And so I feel like their person could have a sudden change of heart. And now they want to talk to you and they want to express these things to you. Okay. All right, Pisces, if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe and comment. Say hello. Thank you guys for being here. Love you guys. See you guys next time. Bye.